Jolie Justice and Quentin Lucas are your two mayoral candidates. Justice won 23% of the vote. Lucas got 19%. So these two will move on to the June general election. All right, let's get back out to Stephen and Kat, who have been following this race all night. Let's begin with Stephen Dow, who joins us from the Jolie Justice watch party. I imagine a lot of people happy there, right, Stephen? Oh, a lot of smiles here at Tower Tavern. Jolie Justice, one step closer to being the first openly gay mayor of Kansas City, but she told me she does not want to be known by that. We're joined live by Councilwoman Justice. Talk about what separates you from now, who you know you're going to be facing, Quentin Lucas, as you move into the June general election. Absolutely. Stephen, you know, one of the things that I think people heard in this election was they, they have a vision for this city. They want to see the, the momentum continuing to move forward, but they also want to have someone who gets things done. And for the last 13 years, I've been a state senator. I've been a city council person. People give me problems, and I solve them. And, and that's what people are looking for right now. Well, thank you so much for joining us live. I know you want to get back to the party. Jolie Justice in that final two that will move on to the June primary really known for spearheading that airport deal that everyone has been talking about, says that the pre-K vote, while it failed, and we'll hear about that later, she says she wants to talk to the stakeholders, if elected, to see how to create pre-K education in Kansas City. For now, reporting live, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News. A happy bunch at Tower Tavern tonight. Stephen, thanks so much. Now let's get to Quentin Lucas in his camp. Kat Reed has been following that watch party for us, so how are things going over there, Kat? I'm here with mayoral candidate Councilman Quinton Lucas. Looking at this race, you know, you were outspent. The few polls we did see weren't exactly promising. What do you think put you over the edge here? You know, I think we always had an outstanding ground game. We knew that this was going to be a campaign that's won on doors knocked, on smaller contributions, and on making sure we're getting our word of bringing the city together out to the full community. I think we did that today. If you look at where I got my votes, it's from throughout all parts of Kansas City, and I'm excited about that. So uh, that was the work, and we've got to do it all over again. But money doesn't win elections, polls don't win elections, voters do, and hard work does. And I'm proud of what happened today. Thank you so much, Thank Councilman you. Lucas. A focus on the ground game moving ahead, especially north of the river, where Lucas will need to pick up some more votes. That's where Justice did very well. Already he's setting himself apart from his opponent by talking about projects like the airport, as well as development downtown. He said that he's mostly focused on affordable housing and public safety, less about downtown neighborhoods. Uh, but for now, I'll send it back to you guys reporting live in Kansas City. Cat Reed, 41 Action News.